Okay, there's a nice cardone here. And look what's growing right below it. Let's check that out. Nice pink trichoceros. And some fruit. Where are all the bees this morning? Okay, I'm over here in the rocks by the uh, these big boojum trees. And uh, you may be able to see the trunk in there. The big trunk, where is it? And if we look down here, between the branches, you can see another little cactus. It may be hard to see this in here. It's only partially lit up by the sun. It looks like an agave because the tubercles are very long on this cactus and it has these wispy spines that come out the top where the aerial is. Let's look at another one. Okay, this one's a little easier to see. And uh, it actually has flowers on the top, little buds. So let's check out the flower buds. Almost lost in there with all those long, papery spines. They're green with a little bit of red color to them. on the outside. Alright, now this big giant clump over here is just about to be shaded. I think I caught it just in time. This is more Luchenbergia cactus. It's hard to pronounce and even harder to spell. Look at these nice bright yellow flowers. Look at that shining in the sunlight here. Let's get in closer. Okay, there's a little lizard down there somewhere. Might make it into the video. Let's check out this flower up close. You can see the tubercles are very long and skinny, just like an agave. And the aerial is at the tip of the tubercle, and that's where the spines come out. It really has a distinctive look. This plant is related to the ferro cactus. Uh, as far as I know, there's only one species in the whole genus. And uh, this one's called Luchenbergia principis. There may be varieties, I'm not sure. There's some fruit there. Let's check out the fruit. It's still green, just beginning to develop. Nice little plant. And they can be hybridized with some ferro cactus. There's another angle on it, another flower there. And look who's over here. Don't really see him on the screen yet. Hard to film you down there. What are you doing? Getting some bugs? There's the little one. I see you now. Do you like Luchenbergia? Yeah? A lot of bugs in here? 
Yum yum. Smile for the camera. You don't even know I'm here. It's getting close. So you can get a good shot of your head there. Are you a little cutie? Yeah? Okay. Alright, there's another flower bud. Let's zoom in on that. Can we get that in there? Where is it? I don't see it. It's all green. It's the same color as the tubercle. Almost don't even notice it. Yeah, we'll notice it when it blooms, though. It'll look like this. Okay, that's Luchenbergia. Okay, what are we looking at? Turtles pipping. Tortoises? Little baby tortoises pipping. They're hatching. It's called pipping when they poke their head through the shell. And they stay in the shell. This guy's almost out. There's a little one in there. There's one over here. You can see his little head sticking out once in a while. Oh, this guy here is trying to eat something. He's hungry. He must eat the shell or something, huh? See, he's trying to eat something there. Alright, let's get a look at this Luchenbergia. Wow, it's just starting to open the flowers here. And we have a bee. That's right, force your way in. <laughs> Get in there. Yummy. Okay, how about some top down action here on this flower? Let's see what's going on. triple bloom there just starting to open there's another view of some flowers over here on the shaded side of this Luchenbergia and uh, let's take a look at some fruit here where is it it's hard to see in all these spines they start off kind of green and they turn on more dark red purple when they're ripe but these are just starting right now okay I came over to check on this fruit look what else I found let's get in there for a tight shot look who's hiding over there in the agave What else we got over here? Can I find it? Can't find it. There it is. It's a swallowtail caterpillar. Okay, if I can hold it steady, we can watch the caterpillars eat over here.
Yummy. Fatten up. Get it. Alright, there's a good view. Chewing some leaves this morning. There's a little one. Right there. Eating it up. Okay, let's see what's going on here by the, these tire tracks. Very skinny orange wasp. Digging a hole here. Alright, I'll hold it steady. Really bright abdomen there. Bright orange. Dig it out. You making a burrow? Get it. Don't worry about me. I'm just watching. Cool. Oh, hummingbird. Okay, we're back at this plant here. And I wanted to show you a little more of the fruit. And you can see one right there. And there's another one right here. Okay, so let's take a look at the harvest. Okay, so I'm just gonna reach right in and see what I've got here. And it pops right out. Nice little fruit. Okay, this one's a little bigger. Let's see what this one looks like. Right out. Loaded. Look at all that. They just fall right out. Pretty cool. Okay, there's the first one. Just one seed in it for some reason. I think the others may have fallen out. But this one's really big and has lots of seeds. Let's see if that shows up. Well, the lighting conditions aren't the best, but after waiting months and months for this fruit, I think it's finally ready to pick. Look at how big it is. It's huge. What is that? It's almost an inch. That's pretty fat for one of these.
Let's see. Get a close look in there. Yeah. Oh, is it coming up? like a whopper. There you go. There's your view of the aftermath right there. As you can see, I'm not going to gather all of the seeds. There you go, extreme close-up. See the action. Alright, there's your peek at the seed harvesting for today. You never know what you might find in the crag of a rock somewhere. All right, now what are we looking at here? The turtle peeing. This little tortoise was just come out of the egg and his yolk is still there. That's his yolk sac, it has to be absorbed. It takes about a day or two. This one's been Hang hatched. Uh, put him closer to your chest. There, there, that, that'll work better. This, this one here, no yolk sac. His yolk sac's been absorbed. You can see just a tiny bit of it's left, whereas this one just hatched this morning and his yolk sac is still there and it takes a day or two for that to be absorbed. Oh, he's peeing again. You're getting him excited. He's a good sign. He's he's processing his fluids. But the yolk gets absorbed after they hatch out of the egg. Usually they'll stick their head out for a day or two. It's called pipping. And, uh, okay, hang on. So hold him steady. I'm going to get in close. Okay. Open right here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I got both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have their big brother. This one has their big brother. This is like a juvenile, half grown one, not even half grown. They get about six feet, maybe even a little bigger sometimes. Well, this one's probably born last year. A little juvenile bull snake. Oh, there goes a lizard. Wow, lunch! There goes this guy. He's making a break. Another escapee. And they're so pretty. Pretty regular pattern on that long nose. Yeah. Like the bill's pretty regular too. I don't see like any. like a checkerboard on the back of his tail there. It's like little saddles or splotches, little stars there, all different patterns. You can see they're all a little bit different. This one's real red. This was the one that was leaping at me off, just barking, barking at you. and making a barking sound. I've never even heard of that before. Another one's getting away. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. Good luck. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, we'll put the snake down this hole so we have a good spot for the day to hang out. And then later tonight, and that way. Ah! Go that way, there you go. Alright, in the hole, real fast. Out for the day. Maybe you can bye bye. Get to a mouse or something.